What is up, everybody? Happy Wednesday to you. Thank you so much for those who have subscribed to my channel. Um, for you, those of you who are new to my channel, this I tell people this is the imperfection blog because you may get me any kind of way. You may get me on the way to a meeting like I am in about five minutes, so I got to kind of keep this quick. Um, but Corey Bush is out. Um, she's blaming APAC. I'm going to do a live stream a little bit later on today around 6 o'clock, kind of recapping some of her comments. She's getting some backlash, and <clears throat> I think that people need to be intelligent when they're listening to people in their positions about things because they're really quick to label people these days, anti-this, racist this, and sometimes people, you know, are not coming from those places. And I think it's always intelligent to kind of understand where somebody is coming from, you know, before you just start spewing your labels out against them. Um, so we're going to talk about that. Um, and we're going to also talk about the five social values, right? Um, and I think that it's important for people to be conscious of the five social values, because I think sometimes being conscious of those things will kind of help us understand people, society a little bit more. Um, I heard a lady talk about how Kamala Harris has pretty privilege and how people like her that look like her, who is her complexion, even in the black circles, they are relatively privileged. And so, you know, the reason why Kamala Harris was able to be able to get through, um, you know, basically make it, you know, as far as she has is because not only is she ambiguous, but she is an attractive woman. And I think that sometimes that attractiveness of a woman and when a woman understands the privilege of being pretty, that is a leverageable point on so many different levels. So um, I'd be interested to get other people's perspective on if, you know, this Kamala Harris card, you know, is also, you know, a result of pretty privilege. Um so that is what we're going to be covering um, later on. And again, thank you so much to those of you who have tuned into my blog. Um, I also want to really quickly, I got a couple of more minutes. I um, posted a blog on the YouTube community because, you know, I am tired of recycled rhetoric. And I'm also tired of recycled insults. So there are a couple of things that I would like to just put to bed. You know, when black women wear hair extensions, and I think Beyonce has proven that a black woman can wear wigs, she can wear extensions, and she can still have a head full of her own hair. And there's a variety of different reasons why women wear hair extensions, hair pieces, you know, and a lot of it has to do with style and a diversity of style. And these days, it's really a moot point because women of all color are wearing hair extensions, and it has nothing to do with wanting to be like European or white women. But off of that, that um, most hair extensions are not exports of Europe. You know, most women are getting their hair from a combination of Cambodia, Asia, and, you know, um, China and, and even Brazil, right? And people can argue if those are white people or white women or not. But the, the I think the point is that when black women are not choosing white women's hair. And there's a variety of different reasons why white women's hair really typically don't really work. European hair doesn't really necessarily work for hair extensions. Um, and you got to get a lot of it to really pull off a good piece, right? Because of just the texture of it and how thin and fine it is. It doesn't make for good hair to use. You need, you know, a ethnic background with thicker hair texture to really make a good hair piece work. And any person that does hair will probably tell you this, right? So black women are not wearing white women's hair. And I know that's something that, you know, to Tommy Sotomayor um, wanted to validate the white folks with, you know, that we want to be like white women. But when you see all these women wearing braids and ethnic styles of all colors, a combination of straight, curly, um, and even Brazilian wavy hair, you know, of all colors, you know, you, you get the feeling that women are kind of, you know, not only appropriating themselves to some degree, but at least 
you know, respecting the styles of other cultures and they're embracing them for themselves. And like I said, there's nothing wrong with immersing yourself and liking other cultures, you know, but you do have to have a conviction not to, you know, ignorantly appropriate yourself to those cultures. I also want to make a point of saying that the founding fathers of this country, they were wearing wigs, you know, so either they were trying to be like white women either and they were self-hating or that was a fashion sense that they embraced to help cover their thinning, balding hair, which many of them had. So, you know, when somebody comes on my content and they're like, why do you want to have white women's hair? And, you know, white, first of all, don't assume that every black woman with a full head of hair has somebody else's hair in their head. And even though I do wear extension, I, I have a full head of my own hair. So I just want to let you guys know that black women are not trying to be like white women at all. When we are wearing our straightening our hair, the first black woman that first black, one of the first black women millionaires in this nation made her money teaching black women how to manage their hair in all kinds of different styles, both African and European styles. So I just wanted to put that point out there for the next ignorant person that needs to get ethered on ignorance coming over here, flexing their emotions and their feelings because they can't comprehend a point that I have made in one of my videos. And so they want to go to some hominem attacks. I see you. I see you. And I am here. I am here. I will always have a couple of minutes to make you look stupid. So anyways, you guys have a wonderful day and I hope to see you on my live stream around 6, 630. Bye. And like, share, and subscribe this content if you dig it.